What's up, guys? This is Ian, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys week four of the UPBA. Uh, this week, we are facing off against Coach Rudiger67 and the Cleveland S. Cavaliers. Uh, Rudiger, I did mention this in my team builder, but Rudiger is um, a replacement coach for Sephernape of the Jump Blazers and Uh So Rudiger was permitted to make three free free agent drops uh, that did not count towards his limit of three already uh, as well as dropping his mega and Sephernape left Rudiger with one free agent drop left uh, so Rudiger opted to use all four of those he ended up dropping uh, he ended up dropping Beware for Bronzong, Ferrothorn for Azelf, Slagoo for Chadot, Hoopa for Delmize uh, which brings us to where we are now. So Rudiger's team consists of Weavile, Rotom Wash, Delmize, Snorlax, Bronzong, Stunfisk, Azelf, Togekiss, Nihiligo, Chadot, and Mega Charizard X. Uh, I was anticipating Weavile, Rotom Wash, Delmize, Bronzong, Azelf, Togekiss, Nihiligo, and Charizard X to come any of those. The only ones I was not expecting to see were Snorlax, Stunfisk, and Chadot, which we do not see clearly on the screen. Uh, for some reason, it's inverted this week for the battle. I don't know why that happened when I was the one who uploaded the replay, but uh, anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, we are bringing... If you did not see the team builder, we are bringing uh, Phytinium Z in physically offensive Infernape. Um, we're bringing physically defensive Suihune uh, that's Crocoon, essentially without the Sleep Talk, and running Roar instead, specifically for the Charizard X, or the Azelf, or the Togekiss, if he, those are his setup mons, that's actually all he gets. Oh, and the Snorlax, if he brings Belly Jump and Snorlax, that's scary. Uh, we're bringing Max HP, Max Attack, Piloswine, just a standard Piloswine with uh, Thick Fat to deal with the Zard X a little bit better. We're running Life Orb, especially offensive Heliolisk. Uh, with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, and Toxic. We're running uh, SD, Jolly, Mega Absol this week with SD, Knockoff, Play Rough, and Taunt to stop like a Bronzong lead. And we're bringing a weird Mimikyu set this week uh, that I regret bringing now, but we'll see as we go through the game. Uh, it's a Lumberry, Bulk Up, Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and Destiny Bond. Uh, I'm actually fine with this set, but it would have been nice if I had Shadow Sneak instead of Destiny Bond. I really regret taking Destiny Bond over, um, over what you call it. What do you call it? Over Shadow Sneak. Over Shadow Sneak. That would that would have been nice. So we're just gonna run right through this game uh, real quick. As you guys know, um, okay. So I I was leading Absol here, thinking because he brought Bronzong. Bronzong is probably his lead to get up rocks against my team. Uh, but he does lead the Azelf here, and so I'm expecting it to be, like, a suicide lead. Uh, I know... Okay, so I wasn't sure if he was, like, Scarf or something, and I do kill him if I knock off here, but I've had problems in identifying Sashes in the past, and so I'm expecting this to be Sash Azelf now. The way that he led with it, I'm expecting it to be Sash, like, Rocks, Taunt, Explosion, standard suicide lead Azelf. Um, and so I need to get the heck out of there with Absol, and Pilliswine's like the only thing that I have that can tank that. Uh, I actually eat an explosion with Pilliswine. So I'm gonna go into Pilliswine here, and he shows me the U-turn, and based off of that damage, I see that that is Jolly Choice Banded damage. This man brought Choice Banded Azelf to our match. I've never seen that before in my entire life. That thing <laughs> scares my team so much. The only thing I have for it is like Mega Absol to eat a Zen Headbutt, I guess, because it's my Dark type. I, I don't even know. Uh, he he U-turns out into Rotom Wash here, which threatens me out with a Hydro Pump, so I'm going to go into my Heliolisk to tank the Hydro Pump, and if he clicks Will-O-Wisp, then Heliolisk is my best bet. Uh, I could have gone into Infernape on the Will-O-Wisp here, uh, or actually Mimikyu wouldn't have been terrible, but uh, we are going to go into the Heliolisk, Jupiter, and he burns us, which in the end doesn't really matter at all. Uh, he has no ground type, so I can freely Volt Switch on the Bronzong, and that shows me that he is either a plus spidef nature with no special defense investment, or I believe it was like a hundred a hundred something special defense investment with a uh, with a non plus special defense nature. So I'm just gonna go into Absol here because Absol, I get a free Mega Evolution off, and he gives me his Bronzong for free here. So we'll just click knock off. And there's the Colbert. Yay! I love Colberberry, and he destroys my Mega Absol. Mega Absol showing how much I love to hate this thing. Uh, consistently not paying off for me. I don't know why it keeps happening, but everyone 
prep so hard for Mega Absol, and then I bring it, and it fails me. But Mega Absol finally picking up its first kill of the season. Oh my god. Week 4! I bring Mega Absol every week, and it's finally got a kill. Finally. Thank you, Rudiger, for at least giving me some decent decency with my Mega Absol. He brings out Weavile here, which threatens my Mega Absol out. I'm going to go into my Suicune to eat uh, to eat a knockoff, because that's the only thing that I have that can eat a knockoff. Uh, realistically, I probably could have eaten it with my Mega Absol, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to go for the double into my Mega Absol here, predicting him to go into Delmize on my Suicune. Uh, that's the only thing he really has to threaten out my Suicune, so I know that's his switch in for sure. And Mega Absol threatens Delmize out with a knockoff, so we're just going to get a knockoff here on his switch into the Togekiss. Something's losing an item, and it's the Togekiss. Uh, that looks like defensive, or it, it's probably bold max HP Togekiss based on that roll. So I'm just going to click the play rough, which should do about 30 of this thing. And we see that it does about 33, so that's fine. I, I know I'm going to sack my Mega Absol off here. Classic Mega Absol dying in every single game I bring it to. It's still got the most deaths in the entire league. Classic. I don't even understand how nothing else had three deaths um, that I could count in the entire league after week three. Mega Absol was there at the bottom of the standings in differential. And we're still there at the bottom of the standings in differential because all I did was go even. So whatever. Uh, Togekiss is here, and now Helios threatens this thing out. So we're going to go Helios and get a free Volt Switch off on the Delmice into my Infernape, which is what threatens this out. Uh, Infernape actually threatens his whole team once Rotom Wash is dead, so I'm going to go for the Close Combat here, knowing that Rotom Wash is his dedicated switch in. Uh, I also know that a Close Combat plus my Z Close Combat will knock this thing out, so that's just what I'm going to go for. While he thinks he can probably Hydro Pump me or Volt Switch for free, uh, I get a kill on the Rotom Watch, which is really nice, because now Infernape threatens his whole team. Now, I do know that this is Banded Azelf, so I know he's going straight for the Zen Headbutt here, so I'm going to go right into my Suicune, I think. Pretty sure it's Suicune. It's Suicune, to sack this thing off, because my Suicune does nothing against the rest of his team, and Banded Zen Headbutt is doing a lot of damage to me. Uh, God, I hate Azelf. <laughs> the fact that he picked this thing up actually just ruined my entire game plan. Uh, I did build this team way ahead of time uh, for Sephirnape's team, and I have not had the time to build... I, I, I didn't have the time to revise my build based on Rudiger's free agent drops. Um, I, I really just haven't had the time. It's been crazy busy. So, anyways, besides the point... Uh, we get Mimikyu in for free here. He still has to pop out of disguise. As long as I don't get flinched, I get a free bulk up off, which I do. And now his whole team dies to a plus one Shadow Claw or a plus one Play Rough. So I'm just going to click Shadow Claw, and he chooses to sack the Togekiss here. So Mimikyu picking up another kill, and then he's going to bring out Weavile, which I know can't kill me with a knockoff. Uh, it actually does way more than I thought it was going to. 60%. I'm like, what the heck? I'm plus one defense. Why is it doing 60% to me? Uh, probably because the calc wasn't right, Ian. Uh, when I was calcing it, it showed up with no item, because Lumberry doesn't show up as an item on... I, I guess it doesn't show up an item <laughs> on the damage calc. So I was expecting to take 40 from that, which actually put, would have put me in a really good spot uh, later. So that's a thing. Anyways, I click player off here, and I kill off his Weavile. So he gives me his Weavile, and it's Togekiss for free. Uh, but now Azelf comes in and it's just going to click Zen Headbutt a bunch of times and kill off the rest of my team. Um, at this point, I was kind of hoping for him to just miss a Zen Headbutt because and keep Infernape in the back because it beats Delmize. Uh, realistically, I should have Ice Sharded twice with Pillow Swine. I don't know if it mattered. Uh, the max damage that Mach Punch would have done was 20 to this thing, so... Hoping for a Zen Headbutt miss and no Zen Headbutt miss. So we do lose 2-0 to Rudiger67 and the Cleveland S Cavaliers. Kind of unfortunate that we didn't get any hacks in our favor, and he did get the flinch on our pillow swine, which actually really sucks. Uh, because if he doesn't get that flinch right there, we're living, and Icicle Crash does enough damage to Azelf that Ice Shard can pick it off afterwards. Or at least a combination of Ice Shard plus Mach Punch picks it off. So I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, we could have won the game if the flinch didn't go through. We also could have won the game if I was smart and ran Shadow Sneak instead of Destiny Bond and Mimikyu. So, you know... Who can I blame but myself? Obviously, I'm not blaming Rudiger at all. Like, that's just the game that we play as Pokemon. So, um, that's a fun time. I yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Like, we lost. We're 1-3-7 in three minus seven right now. You know, we're still technically ahead of Johnny and the Colorado Red Rockies. Because I believe he's minus 7 
at 0 and 2. Yeah. Oh, sorry. He's 0 and 3 minus 7, and we're 1 and 3 minus 7. So if he wins, we're screwed, and if he loses, we're fine. Um, we still have a chance to win this division uh, because CSA took a forfeit loss last week. So the division is two and one. Uh, CSA is at two and one plus three right now. We're at one and three minus seven, and Johnny's at zero and three minus seven. So we need to work our way up there. Uh, we're actually in fifth place in the conference, which is really bad. Uh, I believe we'll be sixth place after this, technically, depending on uh, Johnny's matchup. Uh, yeah. So we play. Who do we play? We play Johnny next week. We actually play the Colorado Reggie Rockies next week, so that'll be good. Um, that'll help us either propel ourselves forward in the division or do whatever. Basically, if we lose next week, we have no chance to make it out anymore. Uh, we'll be five weeks in, and we'll have to like win out, and our opponents will have to like lose out. So uh, I'm not really getting my hopes up because Bob is still undefeated. Mano's a threat and a contender at two and one plus four and I don't expect CSA to drop many games either. So if we do end up losing to Johnny next week, we're just going to take this as a learning opportunity and try and pull some games out and spoil some people's um, playoff hopes, uh, especially for our own conference, because we do end up playing Bob again at the end of the season, and we had a really close match against him in week one. So that's pretty much the plan. Uh, yeah, and so I guess I'll see you guys for week five of the UPBA next week in our match against Johnny Cash and the Colorado Reggie Rockies. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.